Today on the channel, we get animated with the Spider-Man animated series Hasbro Pulse exclusive, Hydro-Man and Daredevil. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! back to the channel for another Spider-Man animated series unboxing and review and today we got Hydro Man and Daredevil up to bat but for all your Spider-Man animated series needs gotta head over to Hasbro Pulse but eventually I do assume these will be available at places like Entertainment Earth and when you do go there use discount code Kyle save yourself 10% on all in stock items anything over $79 does ship free. Got to get a deal out there. And of course, we're going to do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel. Going to take a look at the packaging. Going to talk about it. Going to unbox it. Going to talk about it. Going to see where it goes from there. So without further ado, the animated series collection grows with a weird pack. This feels very strange to me. Obviously, the X-Men packs had an X-Men character with them. Uh, this one feels very weird from the other Spider-Man packs as it felt like it was Spider-Man, uh, Peter Parker, somebody kind of related. This almost feels like two non-Spider-Man characters in a Spider-Man set. And yes, I know Daredevil was in the Spider-Man animated series and Hydro-Man, all that kind of stuff. I get it. I understand it. They're villains and froes and friends of Spider-Man. But it feels weird not being like Daredevil and Dr. Octopus or something like that. This just doesn't feel or scream Spider-Man to me. But it is cool, and I'm here for this Hydro-Man especially. Daredevil could be a sleeper hit. We'll see what happens in the packaging here. We got old Spider-Man. That's my classic Spider-Man logo. That is my classic Marvel Comics logo. Brings me back to the old days. Love that there. Good packaging design as usual. You get the sideways shot over here if you need that. On the top, Spider-Man, and then on the back, you got that cool little uh, action figure glamour shots. A lot of jibber-jabber, a lot of jibber-jabber down low. And then you get the VHS style on the side. I do keep the packaging on these just because they're so cool. You got to keep them. You got to keep them. I really do. But we're going to pull it out here. Of course, it feels weird as we're going back and forth now as we've had uh, plastic back, as we do know. But these are the old school cardboard prison ones. Uh, we're here for it, though. We're here for it at the end of the day. What do we got going on here? What is this? There we go. Cardboard. See you later. Goodbye. Off the detolf. One of these days is going to shatter a detolf. See you later. Goodbye. What do we got going on here? Nothing else. Spider-Man style. Bam! See you later. Goodbye. Going to keep hold of the box here. A gentle see you later. Off to the side. There it is. And oh, yeah. The old parchment paper. We're here for that. Can we get it? Bam! See you later. Goodbye. What do we got in this one? All kinds of parchment paper. Who's into the parchment paper? All right. Ready to go. Daredevil stuff. See you later. Goodbye. Oh, a little Hydro Man. A little leg action here. Getting a little leggy going on. See you later. Goodbye. And we continue on. It looks like we got the opposite leg. Makes a lot of sense. Makes a lot of sense to me. Maybe. Uh-oh. Off the table. Watch out. See you later. Goodbye. Off the side of the camera. And, of course, Daredevil right there. See you later. Goodbye. And then finally, finally, little Hydro Man Fists of Fury. I'm here for this Hydro Man. Bam! See you later. Goodbye. All right, let's get down to business. And it's going to be straight up monkey business. I can feel it already. I can feel the monkey business uh, rising. And, of course, we'll do some comparisons later on in this video as well. But let's start off with the old Hydro Man here. We got a Fist of Fury and a Gripping Hand. Got the exact opposite over here. Beautiful translucent plastic. You know I'm here for that translucent plastic. Then we do get these effect pieces that go on his legs. If you want a little extra uh, pizzazz with this one, you can do that. I believe these are the same ones with the former Hydro Man. We'll bring that out later in this video, of course. But looking good, I like the blue into the kind of white there. Looks very nice. I, do, I am here for that. And speaking of looking nice, this looks pretty cool. He's got the translucent blue plastic, which I thought it was going to be all blue. But there's a little bit of white color in here, so it does bring it out a little bit more than just straight up translucent, especially in the face. It does look really good. Those white teeth there, a haircut you could set your watch to. My grandma would be all about that haircut. Uh, and you can see all the human features, of course, the two eyes, the nose, the mouth, the two ears, playing those human hits. Hydro style, though, here today. But looking really good. It is a plain Jane person, just translucent, but it does look cool. And I'm a sucker for glow-in-the-dark, and I'm a sucker for translucent. This is playing the translucent hit, as we can see. 
Arms go all the way around for us right here. Looking really good. Arms go up and down. Of course, bicep cut. Double jointed pinned elbows. Pinned elbows. Hands back and forth, side to side. Hands removable. Ab crunch. You can hear it. Hear that ab crunch. Waist articulation, of course. Head back and forth, side to side. A deep stretch on that neck if you need it. Legs do go up. A little side to side as well. Thigh cut. Double jointed knees. Got the pins in there, of course. Ankles up and down, side to side. So the usual articulation here with Mr. Hydro Man. <clears throat> With Mr. Hydro Man, he does look good and does feel good out of the package here. A little tight in the joints on this arm, though, I will say. But I love the translucent plastic. I think it looks really, really nice. Uh, I'm definitely here for this. Like I did say, I'm a sucker for the translucent plastic. He does got these little sleeves that go over the feet. You just kind of wear those on. I think I got them on the right feet. I don't think it really matters at the end of the day. But gives them a little extra stability as well. Hydro Man looking very interesting. Enough to play around with him to get him to stand with these. I guess it's not as good of a stand as I was hoping it would be. But there it is right there. But we do get the prior edition, which is similar but different. We get some of the same effect pieces. And yeah, they do look to be about... I don't know. Are they different? Uh... Maybe they are the same. Yeah, they are the same, it looks like right there. Uh, but he definitely has those here, and he's got a little bit more human-like on this one here, but still a very, very cool figure. A little top-heavy, of course, those big arms going on. I'm sure a customizer could move some of these things around between the two if you really wanted to. But two different takes on Hydro Man, and guess what? I'm here for both of them, but I think I prefer this one. The new one, a lot of bells and whistles in the translucent plastic, so you know those are hits I like to be played. And it looks real good, if you ask me. But now we're going to turn our attention over to Daredevil, Daredevil the man without fear. Zero fear detected. Uh, we know that for sure. An interesting one. And we're going to compare that to the most recent Daredevil we've seen. And whenever I think of Daredevil, I first remember Daredevil as a kid feuding with the Punisher. I absolutely loved it. There was a couple of story arcs back in Punisher. Was it Punisher Warzone, maybe? I don't know. Uh, but Daredevil and Punisher going at it. I really liked the gritty nature of that. And that was kind of my first thing away from like Avengers, X-Men heroes into a different uh, world of heroes and things like that. A little darker, a little bit more edgy. So that was my first impression of Daredevil way back when. We do get the big old, uh, I don't know, what do you call this? Rope, I guess. And you can connect it to his batons if you want to. Choose your own baton adventure, of course. We've seen this before. So you can plug these together. You can have these off. Really do whatever you want to do. But you do got the two red batons for him. I don't think... No, nope, they don't connect together. Sometimes I think we've seen that as well. But we do got the two batons and the rope that goes in between. Very classic Daredevil, as we do know. And we get extra hands here. Two splayed out hands. Two fisted hands. Two gripping hands. Every single hand hit that could be played, played right here for old Daredevil at the table. Now we're getting Mr. Daredevil, Mr. Murdoch, out of the package. And we're going to take a look here. Two head sculpts for this one. He's gritting his teeth. He's going to bear it. He's going to fight. He's angry. That's what we get out of the package. And we get a more stoic head on the second head. You got the cowl over the top, of course. Got those horns looking good. I kind of prefer the stoic head, but we'll see. I got to make them different. I got to see what I got on my other Daredevil figures. I got Daredevil on a lot of different shelves, including Spider-Man setups. Uh, as I, there's been a lot of Daredevil figures over the last few years, as we do know as well. Uh, but looking good in the head sculpt department. No issues there, but we're going to rock the one with the, the gritting teeth for now. Now, this is on one of those Spider-Man bodies. You got the arms that go all the way around. You got, of course, the big old butterfly. Bicep cut, double jointed, pinless elbows, hands removable, back four side said, head up, down, all around, plenty of movement there, and of course removable. You do get the hula hoop at the top, plus the ab crunch, all kinds of extra articulation there. Uh, no traditional waist, but you do get the hula hoop at the top, as I said. You get the drop down hips, the legs that go up, thigh cut, double jointed, pinless knees, boot cut, ankles up and down, and then you got that McFarlane toe articulation. Todd, what do you think? Oh, you like the DC Multiverse better. Well, you should. You are the leader of that organization. You should prefer that, I would imagine. Uh, we do got batons on the side as well, so we get two extra ones, which is kind of strange. It feels weird we get two sets of these, but here we are. We got his little uh, baton baggie on the side everything goes into. But a little strange that we got two sets of those batons. They are identical. Very strange there, but I guess I'm here for it. A little bit more bang for your buck. Uh, but that's the articulation and everything. Now, he does got the DD on the chest, of course, for DD Vernarni. <coughs> he does, of course, got the DD on the chest. Classic Daredevil right there. Uh, looking good. And now, of course, he does got that cell shading from the animated series. And some people like it. Some people don't. 
I don't hate it on this one. I don't love it either. Uh, he's just very black and red. I mean, obviously, it looks like uh, what Daredevil would look like, but it's an interesting color scheme to him. But it does stand out in the Daredevil shelf. It does look different than our usual Daredevil figures. So different is good, but it is quite the uh, look to Daredevil. Definitely looks different. There's no doubt. Does he fit? Of course, on a ringside collectible Mattel stand. Use discount code Kyle. Save yourself 10%. What do you know? Fits right there on the stand really well. And then I did get the last Daredevil. Was this uh, part of the Electra Bullseye pack? I think that was the last Daredevil we got. That three pack there, and it looks to be the identical figure. Yes, it does. Same thing, same body, same everything. Different head, though. Let's see. Is it the same head? Oh, looks like the same stoic head over here. Similar but different. Maybe just a hair different there. But a lot of reuse with kindness, I am sure. But how do you like your Daredevil? It really comes down to a pick em there. You might like the yellow Daredevil costume. Who knows? But I'll put this one with my Spider-Man animated series figures. I think that's the way it's going to go with my shelf at least. But what about your shelf? What do you think of this two-pack? Worth the time for you? Too deep of a cut for the animated series line? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And of course, you made it this far. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on the old notification bell. We got videos every single day and then some. We have even more content for you, of course, over on Patreon. Patreon, the best way to support this very YouTube channel and all the content it does bring. You can also support channel press and .com. Search Kyle Peterson. And don't forget over there, Barnes & Noble and Amazon, my new book, The Complete Guide to the Jack's Classic Superstar Series. Almost 700 pages by yours truly. Quite the encyclopedia. I'm like the new Encyclopedia Britannica guy. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm working it. Thank you guys for the support. If you want an autographed copy, hit me up on social media. Sir Paul 64 on the X. The underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on threads. And on Instagram. So for Daredevil, the man with no fear. And the Hydro Man, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.